Would you mind making another FIV video in the future using the replay tool so that we can watch you draw them out as the trades occur? Thanks bro. Good video. Thank you. In this video, I'm just going to be using the FIB tool on TradingView and I'm going to be looking at the charts currently drawing out the golden pocket on stocks where they are currently. All right, so here we are in TradingView. I am going to clear out the charts, remove all the drawings and the time frame I'm going to be on just to keep it simple. I'm going to be on the weekly chart, which means there is time for all of this to develop. But just looking at things the way they are, I am going to get the Fibonacci tool, a look at the range. All right, so last move ups right here. So I'm gonna get the Fibonacci tool. It looks like we made a lower low right here. So it looks like we may be in a downtrend. So because of that, I'm gonna draw it from top to bottom since we're in a downtrend. And right here on the IWM, my Fibonacci tool is going to be from 212.73 to 216.42. If, if you're seeing this video when I post it, I highly encourage you to go in on your own time and draw these yourself as well. And for those of you that don't know how I have my Fib set up, hey, be sure to check out this video right here. But getting back to it, so this is where my fib is for IWM going on looking at the cues. Let me clear out the chart again, remove the drawings. Once again, uh, we kind of made a new low right here. So because of that, I am going to take it from the top and yeah, draw it like that. So yeah, my fib is from 463, pretty much 464 up to about 474. All right, going on, looking at the spy. Once again, we're gonna clear out the charts, remove the drawings and the movement to the down, oh wait. And the movement to the downside The fib is from about 378 to about 345. And actually one thing I want you to notice, it's been similar on all the charts that we've been looking at on the weekly. Uh, we did open up all the way down here. So there was this gap from where the candle closed about right here on this black candle to it opened up down here at about 511 and each of these candles represents a week. It opened here, the week opened here. And as of right now, it is Friday. We are all the way up here. Just wanna make sure y'all are catching stuff as we're doing it. We actually, one thing to know is we actually tapped into this demand zone right here. It's a rather large demand zone. There were demand zones on the other charts. This is the kind of reaction you get from a demand zone. We came down here, tapped into demand. Now we're probably coming in here somewhere before coming back, retesting it. And we could end up going up or we could end up um, coming, testing another demand zone down here at this area down here. But going on, drawing more fibs, looking at Palantir. Uh, Palantir is a different story. They had a catalyst. Let me clear out their chart. So, so one thing I want you to note about this Palantir has just made a new range and is still making a new range. And we don't know where this range is going to end. So we're going to need more candles. So one thing that I'm going to do is actually we're going to draw it from kind of where it started over here. Draw the move on this. It's a little bit weird. So we'll try to draw from down here. See if we can draw it up to here. So not as clean on this one it kind of wicked it came a little past but we did get a pull back to this area before gapping down it's not always going to be perfect but this is how i would draw it going on looking at tesla let's see all right so here let me clear the charts on this remove the drawing draw a fib so we kind of sold off 
Let's say we sold off from up here down to here. Or let's move that up a little bit. So there. That is where I would draw the fib for that. Could be here. Could also be here. But I'm going to try right here. And that's going from about 227 to about 238. Going on looking at AMD. Looking at this move we got to the downside. If I were to draw the fib. Come down here. Looks like we're targeting this just about 140, 153 up to about 161. And last but not least to finish off this quick video, clear the chart for NVIDIA and see. Honestly, it looks kind of weird. If I were to draw this on NVIDIA, it might look something like this. So it's like we did get a pullback, but then we gapped down. So this is what it would look like for the run up, but playing the sell off, I would target this 113 to 119 levels. And that's how I do it. That is how I use the Fibonacci tool. The main way I use a Fib tool is mostly gonna be, sometimes I will try to take entries from it sometimes. And then other times I will use it as an area to either set my stop loss or take profits. Uh, it's not gonna be anything where I am looking for a massive reversal it's not going to be anything like a supplier demand zone it's more going to be like a ride the momentum till it dies if i'm entering a trade from there or hey let me take profits here if you haven't already taken advantage of it be sure to check out the moon referral link down below in the description right now when you sign up using my link down below in the description they're offering up to 20 free stocks whenever you sign up using that link if for some reason you're new here and haven't already be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content and last but certainly not least thank you so much for watching matthew manuel signing off and i want to change your life